Peter Tork, Peter Halston Thorkelson, better known as Peter Tork, is an American musician and actor, best known as the keyboardist and bass guitarist of the Monkees. Tork was born at the former Doctors' Hospital, in Washington, D.C. Although he was born in the District of Columbia in 1942, many news articles incorrectly report him as born in 1944 in New York City, which was the date and place given on early Monkees press releases. He is the son of Virginia Hope and Halston John Thorkelson, an economics professor at the University of Connecticut. His paternal grandfather was of Norwegian descent, while his mother was of half-German Jewish and half-Irish ancestry. He began studying piano at the age of nine, showing an aptitude for music by learning to play several different instruments, including the banjo and both acoustic bass and guitars. Tork attended Wyndham High School in Willimantic, Connecticut, and was a member of the first graduating class at E.O. Smith High School in Storrs, Connecticut. He attended Carleton College before he moved to New York City, where he became part of the folk music scene in Greenwich Village during the first half of the 1960s. While there, he befriended other up and coming musicians such as Stephen Stills. Stephen Stills had auditioned for the new television series about four pop rock musicians but was turned down because the show's producers felt his hair and teeth would not photograph well on camera. They asked Stills if he knew of someone with a similar open, Nordic look, and Stills suggested Tork audition for the part. Tork got the job and became one of the four members of the Monkees, a fictitious pop band in the mid-1960s, created for a television sitcom written about the fictitious band. Tork was the oldest member of the group. Tork was a proficient musician, and though the group was not allowed to play their own instruments on their first two albums, he was an exception playing what he described as third chair guitar on Mike Nesmith's song, Papa Jean's Blues, from their first album. He subsequently played keyboards, bass guitar, banjo, harpsichord, and other instruments on their recordings. He also co-wrote, along with Joey Richards, the closing theme song of the second season of The Monkees, For Pete's Sake. On the television show, he was relegated to playing the lovable dummy, a persona Torque had developed as a folk singer in New York's Greenwich Village. The DVD release of the first season of the show contained commentary from the various bandmates. In it, Nesmith stated that Torque was better at playing guitar than bass. In Torque's commentary, he stated that Jones was a good drummer and had the live performance lineups been based solely on playing ability, it should have been Torque on guitar, Nesmith on bass, and Jones on drums, with Dolan's taking the fronting role, rather than as it was done. Jones filled in briefly for Tork on bass when he played keyboard. Recording and producing as a group was Tork's major interest, and he hoped that the four members would continue working together as a band on future recordings. However, the four did not have enough in common regarding their musical interests. In commentary for the DVD release of the second season of the show, Tork said that Dolans was incapable of repeating a triumph. Dolans felt that once he had accomplished something and became a success at it, there was no artistic sense in repeating a formula. Tork, once free from Don Kirshner's restrictions, in 1967, contributed some of the most memorable and catchy instrumental flourishes, such as the piano introduction to Daydream Believer and the banjo part on You Told Me, as well as exploring occasional songwriting with the likes of For Pete's Sake and Ladies Baby. Tork was close to his grandmother, staying with her sometimes in his Greenwich Village days, and after he became a monkey. Gramps was one of his most hardened supporters and managed his fan club, often writing personal letters to members, and visiting music stores to make sure they carried Monkees records. Six albums were produced with the original Monkees lineup, four of which went to number one on the Billboard chart. This success was supplemented by two years off the TV show, a series of successful concert tours both across America and abroad, and a trippy psychedelic movie, Head, a bit ahead of its time. However, tensions, both musical and personal, were increasing within the group. The band finished a Far East tour in December 1968 and then filmed an NBC television special, 33 and One Third Revolutions Per Monkey, which rehashed many of the ideas from Head, only with the Monkees playing a strangely second-string role. No longer getting the group dynamic he wanted, and pleading exhaustion from the grueling schedule. Tork bought out the remaining four years of his contract after filming was complete on December 20, 1968, at a default of $150,000 per year. In the DVD commentary for the 33 and one third Revolutions per Monkey TV special, original I broadcast April 14, 1969, Dolans noted that Nesmith gave Tork a gold watch as a going-away present, engraved from the guys down at work. Tork kept the back, 
but replaced the watch several times in later years. During a trip to London in December 1967, Tork contributed banjo to George Harrison's soundtrack to the 1968 film Wonderwall. His playing featured in the movie, but not on the official Wonderwall music soundtrack album released in November 1968. Tork's brief five string banjo piece can be heard 16 minutes into the film, as Professor Collins is caught by his mother while spying on his neighbor Penny Lane. Striking out on his own, he formed a group called Peter Tork and or release with girlfriend Rain Stewart on drums, Riley Wildflower Cummings on bass and, sometimes, singer-slash-keyboard player Judy May and Dot Tork said in April 1969, we sometimes have four. We're thinking of having a rotating fourth. Right now, the fourth is that girl I'm promoting named Judy Man. We're like Peter's backup band, added Stewart, except we happen to be a group instead of a backup band. Release hoped to have a record out immediately, and Tork has said that they did record some demos, which he may still have stored away somewhere. According to Stewart the band were supposed to go to Muscle Shoals as the backing band for Mayan's Atlantic Records solo album Moments but they were ultimately replaced. Ah, they mainly played parties for their and friends and one of their songs was considered for the soundtrack to Easy Rider, but the producers, who had also produced Ted, eventually decided not to include it. Release could not secure a record contract and by 1970 Torque was once again a solo artist, as he later recalled, I didn't know how to stick to it. I ran out of money and told the band members, I can't support us as a crew anymore, you'll just have to find your own way. Torque's record and movie production entity, the Breakthrough Influence Company, also failed to launch, despite such talent as future Little Feet guitarist, Lowell George. He was forced to sell his house in 1970 and he and a pregnant Rain Stewart moved into the basement of David Crosby's home. Torque was credited with co-arranging a Mickey Dolan solo single on MGM Records in 1971. An arrest and conviction for possession of hashish resulted in three months in an Oklahoma penitentiary in 1972. He moved to Fairfax in Marin County, California, in the early 1970s, where he joined the 35-voice Fairfax Street Choir and played guitar for a shuffle blues band called Osceola. Tork returned to Southern California in the mid-1970s, where he married and had a son and took a job teaching at Pacific Hills School in Santa Monica for a year and a half. He spent a total of three years as a teacher of music, social studies, math, French and history and coaching baseball at a number of schools, but enjoyed some more than others. Peter Tork joined Dolan's, Jones. Boys, and Hart on stage for a guest appearance on their concert tour on July 4, 1976 in Disneyland. Later that year he reunited with Jones and Dolans in the studio for the recording of the single Christmas is My Time of Year BW White Christmas, which saw a limited release for fan club members that holiday season. Torque also made several appearances as Topang Lawrence's father on Boy Meets World. Tork returned to the film world in 2017 in the horror movie I Filmed Your Death, written and directed by Sam Barr. A chance meeting with Sire Records executive Pat Horgan at the bottom line in New York City led to Tork recording a six-song demo, his first recording in man years. Recorded in summer 1980, it featured Tork, who sang, played rhythm guitar, keyboards, and banjo. It was backed by southern rock band Cottonmouth, led by guitarist-slash-singer-slash-songwriter Johnny Pontiff. Featuring Gerard Trayon on guitar slash keyboard slash vocals, Gene Pyle on bass guitar slash vocals, and Gary Hill on drums slash percussion. Horgan produced the six tracks, with George Dispigno as engineer. The four other tracks were Good Looker, Since You Went Away, Higher and Higher, and High High Babe. Also present at the sessions were Joan Jett, Chrissy Hind of The Pretenders, and Tommy Ramone of The Ramones. The tracks were recorded at Blue Horizon House. 165 West 74th Street, home of Sire Records, but Seymour Stein, president of Sire, rejected the demo, stating there's nothing there. Torque recorded a second set of demos in New York City, but little is known about these. During this time Torque appeared regularly on the Uncle Floyd show broadcast on U68 out of New Jersey. He performed comedy bits and lip-synced the Siri recordings. Floyd claimed Torque was the first real star to appear on the show. In 1981 he released the 45 Revolutions Per Minute single Stepping Stone with the New Monks. He also did some club performances and live television appearances, including taking part in a win a date with Peter Tork bit on Late Night with David Letterman in July 1982. In 1986, after a 1985 tour with Jones in Australia, 
Torque rejoined fellow monkeys Davy Jones and Mickey Dolans for a highly successful 20th anniversary reunion tour. Three new songs were recorded by Torque and Dolans for a greatest hits release. The three monkeys recorded Pull It. A decade later, all four group members recorded Justice, the first recording with all four members since 1968. The quartet performed live in the United Kingdom in 1997, but for the next several years only the trio of Twerk, Dolans and Jones toured together. The trio of Monkeys parted ways in 2001 with the public feud Beauty reunited in 2011 for a series of 45th anniversary concerts in England and the United States. Since 1986, Tork has intermittently toured with his former bandmates and also played with his own bands The Peter Tork Project and Shoe Suede Blues. In 1991, Tork formed a band called The Dashboard Saints and played at a pizza restaurant in Guerneville, California. In 1994, he released his first album length solo project, Stranger Things Have Happened, which featured brief appearances by Mickey Dolenz and Michael Nesmith. In 1996, Tork collaborated on an album called Two Man Band with James Lee Stanley. The duo followed up in 2001 with a second release, Once Again. In 2001, Torque took time out from touring to appear in a leading role in the short film Mixed Signals, written and directed by John Graziano. In 2002, Torque resumed working with his band Shoe Suede Blues. The band performs original blues music, monkeys covers, and covers of classic blues hits by greats such as Muddy Waters and has shared the stage with bands such as Captain Zig. The band toured extensively in 2006 to 2007 following the release of the album Cambria Hotel. Torque also had a pair of appearances in the role of Topanga Lawrence's father Yadidia Lawrence on the sitcom Boy Meets World. In his second appearance, in 1995, he joined Davy Jones and Mickey Dolenz in episode 8 of the third season, although they did not play the monkeys. Tork was also a guest character on Seventh Heaven. In 1995, he appeared as himself on the show Wings, bidding against Crystal Bernard's character for the Monkey Mobile. In 1999, he appeared as the leader of a wedding band in Season 1 Episode 13, Best Man, of the King of Queens. In early 2008 Tork added advice columnist to his extensive resume by authoring an online advice and info column called Ask Peter Tork at the webzine The Daily Panic. In 2011, he joined Dolans and Jones for the 2011 tour. In 2012, Peter joined Mickey Dolans and Michael Nesmith with a Monkeys tour in honor of the album headquarters 45th anniversary as well as in tribute to late Davy Jones. The trio would tour again in 2013 and 2014. On March 3, 2009, Tork reported on his website that he had been diagnosed with adenoid cystic carcinoma, a rare, slow-growing form of head and neck cancer. A preliminary biopsy discovered that the cancer had not spread beyond the initial site. It's a bad news, good news situation, explained Tork. It's so rare a combination that there isn't a lot of experience among the medical community about this particular combination. On the other hand, the type of cancer it is, never mind the location, is somewhat well known, and the prognosis, I'm told, is good. Tork underwent radiation treatment to prevent the cancer from returning. On March 4, 2009, Tork underwent extensive surgery in New York City, which was successful. On June 11, 2009, a spokesman for Tork reported that his cancer had returned. Tork was reportedly shaken but not stirred by the news, and said that the doctors had given him an 80% chance of containing and shrinking the new tumor. In July 2009, while undergoing radiation therapy, he was interviewed by the Washington Post, I recovered very quickly after my surgery, and I've been hoping that my better-than-average constitution will keep the worst effects of radiation at bay. My voice and energy still seem to be in decent shape, so maybe I can pull these gigs off after all. He continued to tour and perform while receiving his treatment. On September 15, 2009, Tork received an all-clear from his doctor. Tork documented his cancer experience on Facebook and encouraged his fans to support research efforts of the Adenoid Cystic Carcinoma Research Foundation. Tork currently resides in Mansfield, Connecticut. He has been married four times. He also has a daughter, Erica Marie, born June 15, 1997, from a relationship with Tammy Sistek. All songs written by Peter Tork or co-written by Tork as indicated. Solo with James Lee Stanley with Shoe Suede Blues. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.